So today we're doing part two of our Cricut Easy Press. We've just turned it on. The little green light is on, which means it's ready to go. We have our envelope that came in the package, our towel, which we'll talk about in a minute, and the surface that we're going to be pressing on. So we're going to open up that envelope that everybody gets when they get their Cricut Easy Press. Cricut usually sends you some kind of a freebie, and yes, they did. A cute little glitter teapot, coffee cup, whatever you like to call it, and we're going to be using that. What's nice about the instructions is it's visual and it's text. First it tells us to get a firm flat surface. Then it says to set the temperature to 340 and the timer for 20 seconds. So we're going to be setting the temperature to 340 and you use a little plus button and you see how it turns up and dials up to 340 and we need the timer it says for 20 seconds so we set the timer for 20 seconds pretty easy all right so it knows what we're doing it tells us to apply gentle pressure to start the timer and to remove when the beep sounds it also said earlier that we want to make sure our surface that we're going to be ironing on is protected. So we're using our floor here, so we're going to want to get a towel. We're going to be using burlap because we're going to make a sign out of this eventually. That's our burlap. And in the videos I've watched, they've said to go ahead and take the Easy Press when ready, when ready. It says to take our Easy Press once, once the little green light has come on, it's at 340 now, and to press your fabric that you're ironing on to get the moisture out of it and to kind of get it prepped. So you always start by pressing the fabric you're ironing onto. So we're gonna go back and forth on that fabric for about 15 seconds. You can see the steam coming out. One thing people do complain about is the way the cord is connected at the back. I do find that a little difficult. See how we're having to hold that cord and press. Okay, now our fabric is prepared. We put it back in the heat resistant base while we position our little cup. Now we like coffee cups. Now let's, let's look at the cup for a second and hold it to the light. See how there is a shiny side where the glitter is. He's, he's telling us he's ready. And then you can flip it, and there's sort of a, uh, a uh, flat side, if you will. It's not shiny. It doesn't have the plastic. You always want to have the plastic side up. Now, we're going to want to put the cup for our project to the left-hand side because we're going to do a, a word, a stencil coffee, all the way in this area. And we'll show you that in a second. So one hand's going to be holding the little coffee cup. The other hand's going to be picking up the easy press is a little difficult because we're doing it to one side. So be careful with your fingers. Kind of get a hold of it. There she goes. All right. And we're going to hold that for about, it tells us here, I believe it said three, 10 to 15 seconds. Yes, 10 to 15 seconds. That's the instructions. And you do have to wait till it's cool before you try touching it. So we're going to wait the whole 10 to 15 seconds or 20 seconds. And we're going to hold that on nice and tight. What's nice about it, it's a very large ironing surface, much bigger than a typical iron. And we're probably getting close to that. And then we're going to go ahead and lift up. All right, we're going to put it back in the heat resistant base. I'll leave it on for just a second to kind of double check that it's not pulling up. It's looking really good. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to is I will get a stencil that we use quite a bit in our business. And when this is all completed and cooled, I will do a taupe colored coffee in the old fashioned writing next to the little glitter cup. So I'm really thankful that Cricut gave us this. This is our first project, kind of almost for free. I had this burlap already. It is not peeling up. Just want you to see this now. It's been a few seconds. It's looking really good. We want to wait till it's completely cooled 
and then we peel off the plastic top. Thanks for watching.